what is up YouTube welcome back to the channel to the Portuguese RTG uh, today I'm gonna be going over the weekly tactics or custom tactics for foot champs but before I go over them please subscribe just hit the subscribe button down below helps me helps me helps me helps you helps me helps you helps me you know what I mean okay and hit that like button but yeah we went back to basics on this foot champs uh, weekly update so I got four different tactics for you guys depending on the scenario which you enter the game so my main tactic that I'm gonna be using this week is gonna be the 4-2-3-1 so I went back to basics on this one so that's what I'm gonna start off with if I feel like I can't really score with the 4-2-3-1 and I need a little bit more creativity then I'll switch to 3-5-2 if I, I'm losing and it's like minute 70 and I need to go all out because it's my last opportunity I need to get a win I, sw uh, I got the 424 now so a new constant pressing tactic that really really works and then I have a formation to just finish off a game if it's minute 60 minute 70 and I just need to kill off a game because he's pressing me and I need to be really defensive for me that's a 5122 but yeah let's get straight into it so this is a 4231 uh, by the way let me go back into this if you guys don't like any of these tactics, any of the middle two, feel free to switch to any of my other formations that I have recently posted. Like, example, if you don't like the 4-2-3-1, if you want to do like the 4-3-2-1 or like the 4-4-2, uh, anything like that, the 4-3-1-2, you can replace it with this one. But all the other ones try to keep, it, it, these are the only two that you can kind of switch off depending on your play style, right? But let's get into it, 4-2-3-1. Uh, we're gonna go balance with 35, debt 47, and I left it as is. This is go this is gonna be good for both old gen and new gen. Uh, if you feel like it's a little bit too low on debt, then you can raise it up. But I wouldn't go any higher than 60, unless you're good at the auto off size trap. If you're good at the auto off size trap, then you can raise it to 72. If you have really really fast center backs, then you can actually keep up with the with the over the top through balls, or you can or you're just good at the auto off size trap. Then yeah, you can switch it. If not, if I were you, I would probably be anywhere around the 47, uh, no lower than that, and no higher than that on this one, because this is a very stable formation. You won't get countered a lot with this formation, and it's really good at controlling the play. Uh, so 47 is what I would go for, unless whatever I just said earlier. Uh, build the play balance, chance creation, direct passing, that's going to be for both old gen and new gen. I wouldn't really mess with this. Um, unless you want to change forward runs to make it more attacking, but direct passing works wonders for this formation. Uh, width is going to be 47. Players in the box, six. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Whoa, I caught that on video, right? Okay, cool. Bless me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, on the comment section down below, right? Bless you. <laughs> so, players in the box, six. Corners, in the, uh, corners and free kicks, one and one, like always. This is the formation. This is how I line up. Uh, I'll go in more detail over these formations uh, back in my video, uh, back in other videos. So just go ahead and look through them. Uh, if you need me to go in like in more detail, like specific players that play in specific positions, then uh, just click on those videos. Just go into my channel, search for them. I go into detail about everything on there, on every single formation that I post. Uh, so nothing on the goalie. Center backs, nothing on the center backs, stay back while attacking. On the right back, stay back while attacking, conservative and overlap. Same thing on the left back, stay back while attacking, conservative and overlap. The reason why conservative is literally really what it says. Only trying to intercept passes if the player can win the ball clearly. So the reason why I put those on is so they won't move out of the way with the direct passing tactic. Um, because the over the top through balls through the wings, they kill. They kill off any game so bad. So I want my back four to stay intact unless I move them out of the way. I don't want the AI to move them out of the way. I don't want to let nothing move them out of the way unless I do them. Okay. So that's why I do conservative and overlap is uh, if you want to, if you do go up with the right back or left back, then yeah, they'll go to the wings and then your, your right cam or your left cam will just kind of cut inside. Right. Um, these can be rotated depending on to you. My left CDM capacity lanes, balance attack, cover center, and then my super tank, my extra defensive, my destroyer CDM is gonna be capacity lane, stay back while attacking, cover center, because he just holds the field, the backfield down like he's the anchor of the team, so he's just there at the right time. And this is more of my box to box center mid cam, 
stay forward, get into boxer cross. So the get into boxer cross instruction makes him act like a second striker. So whenever my actual striker, my Eusebio, moves out of the way, Bernardo Silva will fill in his spot. So they kind of rotate off of each other, which works wonders. Uh, right cam is come back on defense, get into boxer cross. Same thing as the left cam, come back on defense, get into boxer cross. So it kind of makes it, when you defend, it defends on a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, so two blocks of four with the cam. So it's easy to get out for the counter attacks. And when you attack, these the right cam and the left cam act as wingers. So make sure you play wingers there, not, not basic cams like Bruno Fernandes, uh, Kevin De Bruyne's. Uh, like Ozil's players like that don't use them there. Use actual wingers there. So players that are fast, 90 pace and above. Okay, and then strikers stay central, getting behind, and that is it on those. So he's gonna be the one that you're gonna send through balls at all time. He's the one, your best striker, your best player should be there. A stay central, getting behind, your most lethal one. So now 4-2-3-1. If that's not working and I need to get a little bit more creativity, I'm gonna switch into the 3-5-2. So it's this formation right here, 3-5-2. Uh, defensive stop balance with 37, debt 50, so a little bit higher, not too much higher. Build the play balance, direct passing with 45, players in the box 5, and corners and free kicks 1 and 1. Um, with the width, what you're going to do when you get into game, you're going to click D-pad tactics, the up arrow, and I think it's the right arrow afterwards where it says uh, hug the sidelines. So your right mid and your left mid literally open up the whole field wide so that way it splits open your opponent's defense so your right mid is going to be covered by their left back and your left mid is going to be covered by their right back so it leaves your strikers and your, and your cams basically it's three three of your strikers against two of his center backs if that makes sense so it just opens up the play this is really really good to play against the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow the 4-3-2-1 even the 4-2-3-1 uh, it's really good at all those formations. The weaknesses for this formation is just like the 4-4-2 four, four, or the 4-4-2. Four, four, That's the only ones because of the wingers, right? That's if you can't really defend. Um, but if you can pull your right, mid, your right mid and your left mid backwards, they act like left backs and right backs, like wing backs. Uh, goalie, nothing on the goalie, nothing on the three center backs. Left CDM, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Same thing on the right CDM, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Your right mid is going to be come back on defense, get into box for cross, and get in behind. And your left mid, same thing, come back on defense, get into box for cross, get in behind. So with the come back on defense, they drop down, they kind of play like a back five, and then you have your two CDMs, and then your one cam and your two strikers. So they act like a back five, get into box for cross, makes them do those diagonal runs inside the box, and get in behind because basically that's what it means. So as soon as you go on a counterattack, they're going to be darting forward, so they're going to always be open as your outlet players, right? Your dribblers. Uh, your cam is going to be stay forward again to box for cross, so same thing as the other formation. So they're going to act like a third striker. So this is this little triangle of death, as I call it up here. So, yeah, stay forward again to box for cross. Right striker, stay central, and that's it. And my left striker is going to be stay central, get in behind. So you can alternate those with, with whoever suits your play style mine is just Eusebio is my best striker so I just want him to get in behind so he can finish everything um, my all-out constant press formation now is the 4-2-4 because of the wingers they're a little bit the position a little bit higher and I need them to press a little bit higher to steal the ball because what I've noticed is that the opponents start passing the ball in the back whenever they're winning and it gets really really annoying even if you're playing constant press they go from one wing to the other wing to the other wing so this is the best way to Basically, your wingers are going to cover their left back and right back, and they'll be, they won't be—they will be able to pass the ball back there, so you're just going to get in their face uh, to steal the ball. So tactics, constant press with 60, debt 72, build the play balance, chance creation, four runs with 55, players in the box, seven, and corners and free kicks, four and four. Instructions, nothing on the goalie, nothing on the two center backs. Right back, stay back while attacking. Left back is balance, overlap, so he's going to be attacking... Uh, he's going to be joining the attack so he's going to basically open up the side on the left side open up the field on the left side uh, my left center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center because he's basically going to cover for my left back going up uh, my right center mid is going to be get forward again to box for cross cover center uh, so he's going to be joining the attack kind of like a cam so he could be outside the box shooting uh, Travella shots back and forth recycling the play creating new plays all that good stuff uh, your right winger is going to be come back on defense, get into boxer cross, get in behind. So same thing like the pass formation, if you listened to that earlier. 
left mid or left winger, same thing, come back on defense, get into the box for cross, get in behind. My left striker is going to be stay central and come back on defense so he can come back and recover the ball and start the play. And then my right striker is going to be stay central, get in behind, come back on defense as well, just in case, because once they steal the ball, like let's say your opponent has a ball and they're playing in the back, and they get out of the out of your press and they start dribbling in the midfield, if you don't put these these people to come back on defense, they're not they're just, he's going to be free and open to be able to pass the ball around in the midfield, and you want these players to come back and steal the ball so they can go ahead and hit them on the counter, if you know what I mean. All right, and then my last formation is the 5-1-2-2 formation. I took it away last week, but I had to bring it back because it's my favorite formation to close out a game. It's so defensive, so well compact. It's hard for them to score against you, and it's so easy to get out of a press with this formation because you have outlet players at all time. So defensive style is balanced with 35, depth 45. Build the play balance, chance creation direct passing with 55. Players in box 5, corners and free kicks 1-1. One and one. Instructions, nothing on the goalie, nothing on the three center backs. My right back is going to be stay back on attack and conservative and overlap. My left wing back, same thing, stay back, conservative, overlap. Um, if you need them to attack or if you need to make them go a little bit wider, same thing, D-pad. Hug the sideline so you can open up your left back and your right back or your left wing back, right wing back. So if he's pressing you, you get out of the press by just crossing the ball to them or clearing the ball to them. Uh, if you need to make them attacking, then on the same deep pad instruction, just put join the attack on the left back and right on the left back and right back. So they're actually going to attack and they're going to bomb forward, and they're going to be free at all times. That's if you really, really need them to attack. But you most likely won't need that if you're using this formation and just close out the game. Your center CDM is going to be stay back while attacking, cover center. That's it. Your left center mid is going to be stay back while attacking, cover center. Your like number ten, your cam is going to be your right center mid, so he's gonna be balanced attack, get into box for cross, cover center, and free roam. So he's gonna just gonna he's just gonna fill in any spaces, any open spaces. So basically, he can start off a new counter attack, um, or just kind of control the ball. Your right striker is gonna be stay central. That's it. And your left striker is gonna be stay central and get in behind. So that is the full custom tactics for this weekend league. That's what I'm gonna be using. Uh, this is the team that I'm gonna be using as well once this thing loads up so I sold a lot of my players so I can buy Eusebio um, kinda happy with him for now he's a very very lethal striker he's probably the best striker in the game and then probably gonna change a few of my a few of my midfielders I, I love Danilo Pereira I'ma keep him John Mario has been my box-to-box -box midfielder but I think I might switch him out and maybe try William Carvalho I wanna try Paulinho but I don't wanna have two CDMs you know what I mean because this guy's a tank, and this guy's a tank, and two tanks together, that's just too tanky, you know what I mean? So I'm probably just going to put William Carvalho, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I got like 160,000 coins, we'll see. If not, I'm going to just remove this guy and put Drakoncello. I don't know. We'll figure it out, we'll see where the wind takes us. But yeah, if you got this far below, or if you got this far into the video, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, if you want me to make new squads, uh, budget squads, whatever, let me know down below. I'll get started on them. I'll get started on working on them. I am working on some defensive tactics or teaching people how to defend as well. Uh, I just need to perfect them before I post them, if you know what I mean. All right. But yeah, guys. See you guys on the next one. Peace and good luck on your weekend league. Peace.